Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Alex, I'm a Google developer expert for Firebase and I'm gonna show you in this video how to display location from Firestore on Google Maps using Jetpack Compose. This is a video for an article that I wrote, link is in the description below, which was recently published on the Firebase Tips and Tricks publication on Medium. So let's begin. First of all, let's see how our application looks like. I have my emulator running and already launched the app. As you can see, here are a few markers that are already present on the map. Let's go ahead and add a marker. When we long click on the map, a new marker is added. Let's add another one. If we click on the marker, we can see an info window with the latitude and longitude and a message. If we long click on the window, the marker is deleted. Let's go ahead and delete another one and that's pretty much all of it. Now adding Google Maps to an application can offer several benefits. One of the most important is that we can have better data visualization. Not all applications require a map, but when it comes to displaying some location, then adding markers on a Google Map is the best option that we have. A marker basically provides a visual representation of a location, so it will be much easier for the user to see the exact position of a location. In this example, we'll use Cloud Firestore for storing the location. We'll create a collection called Location that will look like this. So how can we interact with Google Maps? Because inside the collection, documents can be added or deleted, we'll have to implement in our application the possibility to add and delete location to and from our map. This means that we have to perform a query against the location collection and listen for changes in real time. As you could see, once we long click on the map, we'll add a new location and if we long click on the info window of a marker, we'll delete the location. To achieve that, we have to use a persistent listener to always get real-time updates. So inside our repository implementation class, I have added a function that reads the documents and returns a Kotlin flow. As you can see inside the constructor, we injected a collection reference object. This is possible because we are using Hilt for dependency injection. Here is what the app module class looks like. The get location from Firestone function is called from within the view model class, where we collect and save the response in a mutable state object. When it comes to the UI, we have a single activity that contains only a single screen. Since I live in Romania, in a city called Constanza, I have just created a LED LNG object called City Center, where I have also positioned the camera. Once we successfully get the location, we can create a Google Map. The content of the map is represented by markers, so each marker represents all location in the database. To keep things simple, the title of the marker is represented by its coordinates, while the snippet contains a message. As you could see in the code, we have set the on map long click property to add a marker, while we set an on info window long click property to the leader selected marker. So how can you add a marker on the Google Maps? We can add a new marker by calling the add location to Firestore function that I have added inside the repository implementation class. This function is called from within the view model class and as soon as the location is added the screen is recomposed and the new marker is added to the map. So how can we delete the marker from the map? In the same way we have added a marker we can also delete it. So I added another function inside the repository implementation class called delete function from Firestore which in turn is called from within the view model class. And as soon as the location is deleted, the screen is recomposed and the marker is deleted from the map. The use of the map compose library makes the developer life easier. So integrating Google Maps in our app can offer our user a better and more engaging experience. In conclusion, that's one of the simple solutions that can help us read some location from a Firestore collection and add them to a Google Map using Jetpack Compose. I hope you find this article useful and if you have any questions regarding this topic, feel free and leave a comment in the section below. So in the end guys, you can check the entire article on Medium. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. But if you think you learned something new, please subscribe to my channel because more videos are coming. Bye!